Tides on the America's Cup course play a key role in a team's tactical game. Vast amounts of water stream out of two huge bays each day, which is the ebb tide, and then Pacific seawater rushes back on the flood tide around six hours later. In the 1950s, the U.S. Army Corps built the Bay Model Simulator, and America's Cup defending tactician John Kostecki took us there for an insight. This is one of the best venues in the world to race sailboats. We have strong winds and um, these challenging currents and um, an exciting place here along the city front to watch all the racing. The Bay model speeds up the tidal cycle by a hundred times. A useful tool for John Kostecki, who's raced these waters for 45 years. We're looking at the, the Bay model. You know, is you can you can really see the different contours and the depths here, and how the current is really changing and is different. You know, every minute. There's that incredible amount of water that rushes in through the gate. The difference in in speed over the ground can be almost two and a half knots from the right side of the race course to the left side of the race course here. We'll have a little uh, play around here look at um, some of the different strengths. And so here, it's an ebb tide, and you can quite clearly see here, it's running, you know, a lot less speed than out there in the middle. It's quite interesting um, having Alcatraz as um, part of the racetrack. And um, it really comes into play because on flood tides, which we have right now, you can see that the die doesn't really move away from the island. You see Alcatraz Island right in the middle there. With this flood current, that's where all the big relief is on the race course. You see those two quick tacks that both boats did? It's really a San Francisco Bay playbook. You have to play the tidal cone behind Alcatraz. Most spectators will be able to recognize that um, there is the shallow area because the, the water really gets kicked up and you get some rough waves, sometimes breaking waves in that area. And at times there's an acceleration here and in the shallow area. Um, you'll be looking at maybe playing this city front area after you play Alcatraz, also for relief to get out of the flood current. And um, yeah, it's challenging, um, exciting, and, and you know, fun to compete and fun to watch. It's probably the best venue in the world to, to have a sailboat race.